Hey, it's Wang Lo here, and in this video, I want to talk about an update that we pushed live a few days ago, and this is the update that you all been waiting for. So the update that I'm talking about is the tag on RSS and automation uh, update. So basically, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically create tag on links from RSS feed and how to automatically post your links to your social media or send your links to your own applications for scheduling, uh, for example. So let me um, show you an overview of how this new features uh, work, okay? So this is how it works. So there are two parts to this. So the first part that we have worked on is the integration with uh, integral Mac webhook. So basically now you can send um, tag on links um, directly to integral mat purpose and then from integral mat you can send it to send your link to any uh, social networks or your own uh, application okay so this integral mat integration works with sending manually your links uh, after you manually create your links and I will, I will be showing that in a moment but it will work best with um, the RSS automation inside Tagout right here. And I'm gonna show you how to get an RSS feed, how to turn it into an automated campaign, and then how to send it into Integral Mat, and then how to send your links from Tagout to your social networks or other applications. So this is an overview of how it, it works. And now let's get started. So let me begin from this part right here because you will need to have an integration with integral, integral map first before you want to set your um, RSS feed up. So let me go to integral map. If you haven't had an integral map account, um, go to integralmap.com. And um, the reason why we decided to integrate with integral map first is that um, recently I've been using integral map a lot for setting up a lot of uh, marketing automation campaigns. And I really, really love integral map. I think it is the most or one of the most versatile integration tools out there. So I prefer this to Zapier. So uh, that's why I decided to integrate with this one first. Um, other integrations will be coming soon. For example, Zapier or, or other uh, social media posting um, applications. But with Integral Mat alone, what you can do is you can integrate with hundreds of different apps already. So with this alone, it already works with a lot of popular apps and um, you can make uh, a lot of custom automation with this. So let me show you how it works. So head over to integralmat.com and sign up for a free account. And uh, once you're inside, you need to create a new um, scenario. So what we're looking for is, we're looking to get a webhook URL that we can use inside Tagon. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so uh, this is the starting step. So what we want to get is a webhook starting step so just type in here okay so webhook uh, what we want to do is a custom uh, webhook right here and uh, if you haven't had your webhook you need to click on add right here and um, add a new webhook okay so uh, that's the given name okay uh, and just like that and uh, what, what you need to do now is just copy this address right here and go, head over to tag on go to settings uh, third-party integrations and just add new right here as you can see I already have one right here but uh, I'm going to add another one so let's name it uh, integral mats web hook 2 and paste the link that you copy here over here and just uh, as easy as that click on um, this button right here and it will send some test data to the webhook and click on OK and now you have an, a webhook um, URL inside integral mat that you can send the information to okay so after you have successfully determined your um, data structure with webhook you can just click on create right here and it will create the integration um, the, the connection with the webhook URL here basically it will be sending you will be able to send your uh, URLs directly to this webhook right here let me set up a, a scenario first so it's uh, if you are familiar with Zapier a scenario is similar to a zap in Zapier um, so let me uh, try to post to my Facebook so here as you can see it has a lot of um, integrations a lot of 
uh, apps that um, works with integral math. So for example, you can not only post to social media, but you can also, um, for example, send an email uh, when there's a new link, or maybe you can post to, let me see if there's a Slack. Yes, there's a Slack int integration there. So maybe you can post to Slack or any other tools uh, right here, okay? You can send the, uh, to Buffer for scheduling. So a lot of uh, different ways they can use this. This is the reason that I really like Integral Math. It is so flexible and it has so many integrations. So let me just post directly into Facebook. So let me search for Facebook. Let me post to uh, tag on Facebook page. So let me create a post. Okay, so let me add and uh, okay, so I already have this. Let me extend the um, so basically just follow the instructions right here. It's pretty easy to use. So let me post to my tag on page. Okay, so I already uh, select the tag on page right here. Let me create a message. Okay, so the message I would like to use the uh, made a, uh, the description of the link. Okay and the the link is the url right here link name i think uh, is the title title of the link link caption uh, i think it's the description link description this caption maybe is the domain so i can use my domain com so um this is this will vary uh, depending on the app that you use okay so uh, other apps may require a may not have the message field other app may not have the link caption field so this will depend on your the app that you are sending the information to so the message i can i can use my own message so let's say check out this new um, article okay i can i can type it in here okay and the link the link must be the url if you want to send the tag on URL, um, the title, caption, uh, link description. So let's click on OK right here. And that's it. That's how you set up a connection. So now let me show you how to automatically create uh, URLs from RSS feed and then send it into this integration right here on Integral Math. So after you uh, set up your integration, okay, just leave it right here. You cannot. Uh, Turn it on yet because you need to test it first, right? So let me show you how to test it and uh, automatically create um, URLs from RS, RSS feed. Okay, so I have an RSS feed right here. And what you need to do is just copy the URL of the RSS feed, head over to campaign, and let's create an automated campaign from RSS feed by turning this on. Um, so what you need to do is just paste it right here uh, now you just need to select the inter integral math integration or other integrations that you have put in step one so let me select this integration right here and if you have a custom domain you can select uh, the custom domain that you want to um, to send to integral math so if you don't know about how Tyron works if you have multiple custom domains there when you create a link all the custom domains the links for, for all the custom domains will be the same. But when you send it to the RSS feed, you can select what custom domains that you send to. So uh, for example, if I would, I don't want to use the default tag on domain, I can select the custom domain right here to send to uh, Integral Math and it will be the URL, okay? So let me send the default domain and this is the option that you will need to pay attention to. Now, the safe option is to select um, HTTP, okay? Select HTTP right here. The reason is sometimes RSS feed, they use HTTP link, okay? So if you select HTTPS, uh, and I, I talked about how it works in a different video, but if you select HTTPS and RSS feed is HTTP, then it won't redirect correctly okay and it will have a, a security notification right here so um so you can select this and you can test this um okay so i think in this case the rss feed is https so i think we can select https right here 
So this is uh, pretty pretty easy. Just take a look at the RSS feed to see what is the feed URL, and uh, you uh, definitely need to test it uh, after you can uh, after you create the first campaign. So let me give a name to the campaign. So test RSS campaign. Uh, let's give it tag. You can. This is optional, and let me just continue right here. And let me add uh, some script. For example, live chat right here, or you can use a call to action tracking pixel. Uh, you already know about this okay so uh when you select this the live chat will be attached to all the links created uh with this automatic uh, campaign okay so let's create a campaign before creating a campaign you need to run this okay because when you click on this tag on will go and fetch the latest rss item in the feed okay so turn this on so that the webhook waits for the the signal from tag on okay so when we create this the first uh, rss feed will be created okay so as you can see integromat already receives the information right here and it already posted to the facebook page so let me show you uh, the result of this okay so first of all here in tag on as you can see a link is created okay a tag on link is created from the first uh, from the latest article latest uh, item in the rss feed with our own uh, live chat right here let me go to facebook to to show you the result of this okay so here's the tag on um, facebook page right here and as you can see the new link is posted automatically via uh, integral mat right here and let's go to the link and it is the tag on uh, link that you just uh, created automatically using an RSS feed and as you can see it just works on autopilot right here so basically that's how it works uh, now let me show you some tips on how to use this how to get the best out of this so first of all the integral mat integration not only works with um, an automated campaign with RSS feed, but it can also work with manually created links um, right here. So let me show you how it works. So let let me create an, a link right here, and uh, after it's created, what you see is that you can click just click this button right here, and it will send the data to Integral Mat. Now let me turn this on. Okay, let me activate this and. Let me send this to integral mat and it will work just like what you just saw um, Automatically, okay, so you can select the integration that you want to send right here and If you have multiple in integration, you can uh, send it to different places um, So this is how well, we set this up. So this is sent to integral mat and it will work just like you just saw Okay, um, let me reload this again Because I already uh, turn this on it should be uh, working automatically without uh, me clicking on the run button right here um, so now whenever there's a new rss campaign integral mac will catch the information and it will send to whatever app that you set up right here um, so with integral mac what you can do is you can set up multiple steps uh, very very easily and uh, keep in mind that I'm using a free account right here and that's what really really awesome with integral mat is that they have a very um, generous uh, free account so a free account gives you 1000 steps for free a month so if you set up a scenario with two steps right here you can post about 500 times a month and I think that is a lot that is a very generous free tier from integral mat okay so uh, what you can do is you can set up multiple um, apps right here so what you can do is you can send this to Facebook and then if you want you can send it to to uh, your maybe your email marketing or maybe uh, you can use Gmail to send it to your contact for example or you can send it to a, a scheduling app to schedule for all your um, social media like um, uh, buffer okay it's pretty straightforward okay like buffer right here and let, let me create a status update and first of all you need to add the uh, connection right here and you can just select the URL 
information, the title, the description, the image that the webhook receives right here. In this case, um, there's no image, so there's uh, so the image is not it says undefined here. But when it has images right here um, on here, you will see uh, the image just like this. Okay, the okay. So this is the post that I just sent out manually. Uh, okay, so this is to the homepage of Live Hack, and there is an image. So that's why the image is showing right here. So as you can see, uh, with this, you can do a lot of things. Okay, let me show you one, uh, one more tip. So what if you have multiple RSS URLs that you want to send to, and you don't, and you don't want to set up multiple campaigns? Okay, so first of all, let me give you some information about how the automatic um, automatic campaign works. So with this automatic campaign, um, what we do is we uh, will scan your RSS feed every hour to search for new feed. Okay, so if there's no new item in the feed, we will skip and we won't uh, be sending the information to our integral mat. But if there's a new item, then it will work uh, just like you just saw. Okay, but what if you have multiple feeds and you want to send the newest item? Uh, let me show you a tool that you can use. Okay, so let's say that you have multiple RSS feed and um, you want to share with your um, audience the newest article from all of your feed. What you can do is you can combine that using a free tool just like this. Uh, you can combine multiple feeds and you can uh, click here to turn this into one RSS feed and you can use this with um, tag on right here. So let me test this out for you again. So let me click on run. Let me click on run so that it's run the scenario in, in integral mat. So let me create a campaign right here with a new uh, unified RSS feed. Okay, select this, select uh, HTTP uh, because HTTP is a safer option. Okay. Let me create a test three campaign and okay. So what it will do is that it will catch the um, the first uh, item in the the feed. Okay, uh, and keep in mind that this is just a test, so it will catch the first item only, one item only. But if um, your feed um, okay, so during that period of one hour, if your feed has multiple new items, it will send multiple items to integral mat right here. So keep that in mind. Okay, so it will get all the new items, not just the newest one, but all the all the items right here. And you can spec you can specify in integral mat how many posts to create. Okay, so. Um, you can uh, take a look at other integral mat tutorials on how to set it up so that it fits your your need okay so we just run another one so let me show you the feed from this the post from this okay so the newest post is posted right here and uh, it's still the same article because uh, it's the newest um, feed item in in both feeds right here so um, those are the tips that I have for you uh, basically, you can uh, do a lot with this with integral mat and with RS uh, RS feed. Uh, but basically, this is how it works. You get an RSS feed, you put in a tag on campaign, automatic uh, campaign, and you select an uh, your integration with integral mat so that your automatic campaign can send the data uh, to integral mat whenever there is a new item in the feed. Okay. Uh, and from integral mat, you're free to um, create any types of uh, scenario that you want. Okay, so uh, I hope that this update will uh, excite a lot of you. And uh, if you have any recommendations, any uh, feedback on this update, uh, please let us know. If you like this update, definitely give it a thumbs up and uh, a comment down below. So uh, thanks for watching and. Uh, let's test this out and let us know how it works out for you. See you in the next update.